Zoe is with us from BNB Chain. Hello, Zoe. Hello, hello. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. How about you? Good, good. Uh, Zoe, could you tell us what is the BNB Chain? Okay, BNB Chain is a layer one blockchain solution for dApps and uh, projects build. So, like, um, so all, for example, you can build on chain game, you can build uh, DeFi, you can build social fi, you can build supply chain tracking, you can build everything on BNB Chain. Yeah. Uh, who should be interested in the BNB Chain? So, for who is the, you know, the main target to this project? Okay, so BNB Chain, there are two type of projects, uh, two type of targets. The first is retail. So for retail users, they want to find good projects, they come to BNB Chain, and uh, they either play or invest in the tokens or the NFTs on BNB Chain. And uh, we already have two, over 2 million Twitter followers for BNB Chain. This is the first type. The second type is the projects and ecosystem partners. So. For example, who provide the, um, the infrastructure layer, who provide the, uh, the data service, and also the projects building on BNB chain. So they're the two types of um, uh, audience for us. Yeah. So you can say there is a whole spectrum of people that might be interested in this project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can consider as if we, we say in Web2, you have like Amazon AWS, you have like a Google Cloud for those like uh, projects building. And um, uh, we are trying to build a similar stuff in, uh, in Web3 to empower projects to grow and expand globally. Thank you, Zoe. Uh, Yuri and Max, uh, Wallchain. Please, Yuri, tell us uh, something more about Wallchain. What is it? Hey, Chris, sure. So, Wallchain, at Wallchain, we pay Web3 users cashback when they trade on exchanges like Uniswap or PancakeSwap. 50% of volume in DeFi are bots and Wallchain has designed an ultimate solution for that. What are your main advantages? So uh, bots attack users by playing their placing their transactions before or after the user transactions and most of the players in this industry uh, overcome it by reordering transactions in the mempool. Our advantage is that we get inside the user transaction. Okay, uh, Max, can you tell us a little bit more about the technology you use? Uh, yeah, sure. So we um, we have a lots of uh, uh, technology in the world chain. We have the machine learning algorithms, the supervised learning, where we focus on stability of our uh, paths, arbitrage paths that we generate for users. Because the huge issue is that the user are not as fast as the um, uh, blockchain. And uh, users are usually like 20 or 30 minutes, uh, sorry, seconds when they wait whether should I trade this token or no. And we at the world chain, we estimate uh, what would be the state of the blockchain in 20 or 30 seconds, such that the, uh, our uh, technology is working with the time delay. So for that, we use a lot of the machine learning algorithm, primarily focus on the supervised learning. And we do a lot of the algorithms and heuristics just to make sure that we get as profitable paths as possible. Uh, what kind of uh, types of algorithm you use? You use uh, neural networks, uh, random forest, what do you use? Uh, yes, yeah, so we uh, we do use the neural net networks and we, for the liquidity pairs in, Unis, uh, in Uniswap 2 protocol, for example, we estimate uh, how stable those are and we do uh, that by downloading all of the data from the blockchain and then training supervised ne uh, neural networks to predict uh, what is the stability of that particular uh, edge in our graph, uh, basically the liquidity pool. Thanks, guys. Genia from Weekend is uh, with us. Hello, Genia. Hello. Uh, could you tell us more about uh, what is Air Planet? Yeah, uh, Air Planet it's a real-time military strategy NFT game. You can download it from uh, um, App Store or Google Play and uh, just download it and begin to play. It's easy, understandable. You can even uh, don't uh, um, read our um, tutorial or wiki. Just uh, begin and understand everything. Okay, but why should I play it? Uh, uh, our game is under category play for fun. So you, you can have a lot of fun to play, to, to build your army, to fight with enemies and to help your friends. And this game is under popular uh, category play and earn. So the, our winners can win the very valuable NFTs. These NFTs can be uh, used uh, in the game or they can be sold on some marketplace. Okay, so this is a RPG game? Mm, yeah. 
okay, RPG game, and we can earn uh, real money, right? In this, yeah, in this it's, game. it's uh, you, you can win an NFT and you, you can uh, destroy it and um, use it how you like. You can sell it to the um, other players. Okay, so what are the main advantages of this project? Because you said uh, one thing is that you can earn money, mm -hmm. uh, but we know there are also uh, many different types of games when you can earn money. So yeah. what are your main advantages? Yeah, um, uh, generally, there are a category play to earn. So uh, user just play to earn. But now a uh, game is different because you are just not play to earn. You have play uh, uh, and have fun and also earn. And there are uh, a lot of um, popular strategy game, uh, different apps. But uh, there are, I think there are no uh, such quality play and earn games uh, on App Store right now, like our Planet game. So you can have fun and make money, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a dream. <laughs> Okay, Genia, thank you very much uh, and uh, I hope to see you soon. See you soon. Ankush Sharma is with us, uh, technologist evangelist from No Drill. Hello. Hi. Uh, please, uh, could you tell us more about uh, what is No Drill? So Neutrial is a company based out of Singapore and we are a pretty international company. We have employees all across the globe and we have we provide node services. So whenever you want to make a blockchain application, you don't have to worry about creating the nodes for it. You just have to just concentrate on your application design, application logic, and use our node services to put those transactions onto the blockchain. So we provide different kind of services. We provide the kind of services where you get the nodes, the other part where you get direct private route to the network. And also we provide services where you want to create your own private blockchain on BNB. So we can help you manage all those things and you don't have to worry about creating that infrastructure logic for which you really have to spend a lot of uh, resources, money and people on it. So don't have to go through that, we'll help you. We have advanced expertise where people can actually help you scale up your solutions and actually build a very good project on top of that. So these are the main advantages of this project? Yes. Okay, so uh, who's supposed to be interested in the, this uh, kind of project? Someone who is an experienced uh, developer or someone just uh, want to start? Both actually. So we have been creating a community where we're helping people to uh, people who are just trying to build their own application right away. We help them, we give them free credentials for a month, they can try it out, they can see how it works. So when you are very small, it's really important for you to have less responsibility on yourself and concentrate more on the blockchain application. So we help you just do that stuff. And on top of it, companies who are bigger, we have huge uh, customer base who are uh, numerous wallets, numerous uh, swap, a uh, lot, of, lot of people who are working with us. So we help them to scale a solution at pretty high performance. So that really helps them to reduce their costs and give still high performance to their customers. Thank you very much. Uh, please introduce yourself uh, to our viewers. Uh, hello, so my name is Mara and I am the storyteller and lore creator of Mami.io, which is an MMORPG. Uh, I'm here with the co-founders of Mami.io. Hi, this is Katalin. Uh, I'm from Romania. Passion gamers at heart. Um, building one of the best gaming uh, games in MMORPG that has ever been built. Hello, thank you so much. Uh, my name is Michael Sebastian. Uh, I am 25 years old. I am one of the developers and co-founders for the game as well and uh, I am really happy to be here and uh, we are ready to actually get this game on the next stage and, and make a really fun game for the, uh, the uh, next players as well. Web 2 players, free, uh, web, web 3 players all at the same place, in the same place. Could you tell us uh, what is the main idea of this project? The main idea of this project is to actually make a really fun game, right? Uh, the type of, of the game is an MMORPG game, dungeon crawler type game where you will be e exploring a huge world and dungeons uh, alongside your favorite god and friends obviously and the most important part in the end is to have, have fun but in order for us to be 
successful with this, we actually need the community to be there for us, play it, play our demo game, come up with feedback, uh, let us know what you want to see in the game, what you don't like, because in the end you are the people that will be spending hours in the game and you want to be there for you, just like you are for, uh, for us as well. Marina, I heard that you are very interested in uh, you know, different types of games, in fantasy, is it right? Uh, yes, yes, I'm a huge uh, science fiction and fantasy uh, nerd and I love storytelling in all its aspects. I love, uh, yeah, like novels, TV shows, games as well. The more narrative driven there are, the, the better for me, yeah. Okay, so you said you're a nerd. So please tell me <laughs> what are the main advantages of this project? Uh, wow, uh, so um, Mummy wants, uh, the way we are different from other MMORPGs is that we try to bridge Web2 th web into Web3, like we're a Web3 game, we're a play and earn game and we want to empower Web2 users, Web2 players to uh, enter this ancient Egypt inspired world and to take advantage of ownership of their in-game assets, to meet new friends, to socialize, like we want to create this very inclusive and um, open environment for everyone to feel at home with in and to have a lot of fun and we're also building in Unreal Engine 5 and uh, everything looks super realistic, super immersive, and I think that that um, has a lot of appeal for people who, yeah, who want to, to feel like they're truly part of a, of a story world. Yeah. This sounds great. Uh, please, could you tell us uh, also what are your main goals uh, for, I don't know, your nearest goals you want to achieve? So, the ultimate goal is to build a fun game and to onboard as many gamers out of the three billion gamers out there. Uh, the short-term goals are three, basically. One is to keep the funding running. So we are here also to talk to VCs and investors, uh, to partner with uh, other people like us, um, build a bigger ecosystem, and then to hear from uh, the gamers what they like, what they don't like. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Kota is with us from Skyland Venture. Hello, Kota. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Could you tell us more about what is Skyland Venture? What do you do? Yeah. Skyland Venture was established in 2012. So we have been doing the venture capital for 10 years. And we have already invested in more than 150 companies, not only crypto, but also like AI, SaaS, and um, IRO aerodynamic or like aerotic spaces and now we raise the fourth fund which is only for crypto and now we started investing like not only in Japan but also in the global projects so you like targeting globally right yes and how are you doing how are so, you going how it's going so so far so good but uh, you know this is the very winter market because yeah. of uh, you know we had a lot of winter trouble. is coming yeah <laughs> winter is also coming right so so we are very careful about it so we have but uh, it's a very good time to build a project you know if the this is now it market is now it's very low and it's i think it, this is the bottom so but it's after the like one or two years we can just going to the higher and higher so it's a um, great timing to build so uh, we are looking for the amazing project in uh, this incubation what do you see uh, what do you see there are the most opportunities uh, mm -hmm. to invest? What are the main branches in the crypto industry that you like uh, uh, seeing this, this is really a rock bottom. This is going to go strictly up. What does it mean? Like? I mean that uh, do you see some kind of, you know, this uh, industry uh, in this uh, crypto um, mm -hmm. industry that uh, you think it is a very, it is a solid one. It's the one that uh, can gain more interesting mm. in the future because yeah. it's saying, for example, about the uh, problems mm. that uh, not crypto mm. uh, projects won't resolve it. Mm -hmm. For example, I know this is a kind of yeah, uh, complicated no. question, yeah. but uh, for example, what do you think uh, it's worth interest uh, in this uh, in, th in this industry? So, possible we have to, you know. We need a standard regulation for the uh, in international standard for the crypto because yeah. you know we you know there's you know, a lot of regulation like in Singapore, in Japan, like in Europe there's different regulations, right? So that's why we had a you know 
an ROT program right now. So we need a global standard for the crypto. And I think this is a, a good step to encourage the ROT people, you know, get into the crypto market. Okay, and do you think that uh, the, the crypto market will gain more and more interesting? Yeah, I think so. Because, like, um, I think, like, a lot of engineers from Web2, I would say, like, Google or Amazon getting to the crypto market these days, and a lot of engineers, good engineers coming from these products, uh, these industries. So now it's a good time to build. And then also, like, we were the like so-called Web2 VCs for like 10 years, but we started the crypto, crypto VC. And a lot of VC tried to, you know, get into the, this industry. So now it's a uh, you know, good time to, you know, a lot of startups can get the money from the VCs. Thank you very much. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much. Alex, uh, founder of Farmex YZ is with us. Hello, Alex. Uh, hi, mate. nice to meet you. Uh, Alex, please uh, tell us more what is Farmex YZ? So we are building a protocol that simplifies investing in uh, yield farms and uh, liquidity pools and all of the DeFi strategies that the uh, big guys are using. We're bringing those to the retail crowd and just giving uh, uh, the retail crypto investor a really nice, easy to use interface uh, to uh, use those types of uh, investment assets. Uh what do you mean by saying it's user friendly? So, what are the main advantages? Well, the main advantages is instead of uh, you going on a platform and doing like 16 or 18 steps to invest in one of uh, in one asset, with our platform you just come, you see those listed as uh, uh, you see any other token. You've got a history of the returns. You can see an actual graph with uh, how the prices look like, and you just look at it like any other token. You buy it at ten dollars. If it goes to 11, you're making money. You can sell it at 11. Uh, you can do risk management. You can set a stop loss if it's, you buy at 10 and it gets to 8. I want to automatically exit. Um, we also calculate something that we call real APY, and that uh, gives you the real returns in US dollars for the last six months for each and every pool. Um, so instead of say, showing you a big inflated APY in some random token, that can go down 50% and that doesn't tell you anything. Uh, we show you the real historical returns of its specific instrument. So you have a user-friendly uh, trading platform on crypto? Yes, it crypto? works like a trading platform, yeah. Like a trading platform, but besides the normal tokens, we also have really interesting uh, DeFi strategies, so, DeFi assets, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so your main goal is to uh, get into the people that uh, don't want to invest in the crypto because it's uh, complicated or something else? Yes, we're, so we're taking the, the retail investor that just buys tokens, right? And giving him the option to invest in these assets, which are, first of all, really hard to learn how to invest in them, because you've got to learn what's a liquidity pool, what's a decentralized exchange, how does it work? How do you do it? How do you do compounding? Uh, how do you change the tokens in the right proportions, deploy them there, maybe you need to deploy them in a pool. There's a lot of uh, stuff, right? The learning curve is really steep for the average investor. So we're just simplifying all of that. So for example, if someone, let's say, trade on, I don't know, indices, uh, stock exchange or uh, something like yeah. this, and he's interested in um, trading on um, cryptos, on uh, DeFi, so he can go to your platform and yeah. he will understand everything because you have stop loss, yes. take profits Cause, and... Because it's exactly the same thing, yeah. Okay, so the user, but, uh, yeah. the and user fully, experience is... Fully self-custodied, because full DeFi, uh, and he can just uh, own his stuff, but have a really nice, easy to use interface, just like he's used to with any other stocks or indexes from the normal stock market. Sounds good. Thank you very much, Alex. Thank you very much as well. Carolina from uh, Polka Starter is with us. Hello, hello Carolina. Yes, hello. Uh, Carolina, could you tell us more about what is this project? Right. So Polka Starter is a decentralized fundraising platform. So uh, we allow retail investors to, in, to, uh, to fund the projects in the process called IDO. Uh, so um, in order to do so, um, users need to buy our POST token, which is the uh, Polka Starters utility token. Um, 
and uh, if you are selected in the in the in the um, allo listing process which is lottery based um, you can buy the tokens of the new project that you are willing to invest in it's this, um, an opportunity for 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 people to um, yeah to find found the new ideas in in the web free space to find some interesting projects right yes uh, so we uh, we basically have um, a research team who, who first selects the project that we believe gonna gonna add value to the space and gonna be there long term not just like uh, you know for the short hype and uh, the projects that that are selected are, are, are then uh, introduced to the community and 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 community community can can uh, participate in the token sales it sounds nice uh, what are your main advantages uh, yes so the main advantage is that we are uh, fully decentralized which means that um, all of the uh, process of, of, of the sale is, is governed by the smart contracts uh, so basically there's no way for for any middleman to, to interfere so if you decide to uh, back the project with us you can be certain that uh, no tokens will will, will be um, lost in the uh, during the during the sale. So, so your main advantage is uh, the safety of the founds, and uh, the reason is uh, this, uh, there is a, this is a decentralized project, right? Covered by the smart contract. Did, did I right. understand it properly? Right, right. So uh, from the beginning, the, the the tokens that the project is willing to uh, to sell to to the users, uh, to the investors, uh, all of these tokens are already locked inside of the smart contract. So basically, we as 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 as, as a platform, we do not uh, manage these funds. This is what this decentralization is all about. Uh, so basically, if you decide to uh, to back the project, you you just inter interact with the smart contract. You get the tokens uh, that 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 you pay for, and uh, yeah, you can be sure that there, there's 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 no fraud going on in between. This is a very good idea, especially we all know safety first. Definitely, Thank that's you. that's our priority. Thank you. Thank you very much, Carolina, for this interview. Thank you.